dear sisters in Islam, I welcome you all with the best of greetings. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wallahi, my dear sisters in Islam, we should not overlook this blessing that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has granted us with. This blessing of Islam is and should be the most precious thing in our lives. Yes, the most important. Islam should be dearer to you than your own parents. Islam should be dearer to you than your own husband. Islam should be dearer to you than your own child, as this religion will guide you. It will give you success in all aspects of life. It will give you the respect that you are looking for. It will give you the honor that you are looking for. And more importantly, it will give you the guidance that you need so that you may attain the everlasting bliss in the hereafter. Remember, O oh sisters, remember your role in society. Do not belittle your job in society. You are the mothers who look after the family. You are the ones who show love and respect to its members. You are the first of the teachers of this ummah. You are the soothers and carers of the men of this ummah. The success of this ummah lays upon your shoulders, O oh sisters of Islam. Remember Khadija, the first wife of the Prophet Muhammad wasallam. She was one of the greatest women that ever lived in the early stages of the prophethood of our beloved Prophet Muhammad wasallam. She protected him, she gave him finance, she cared for him, she comforted him and most importantly, she believed in him. My dear sisters in Islam, as we look around in today's society, we notice that many sisters are being misled. We notice that more and more sisters are living for this world and not for the hereafter. More and more sisters do not know who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is. More and more sisters are leaving their prayer. More and more sisters are taking off their hijab. And more and more sisters are being seen in nightclubs and pubs, dating men and having a good time. My dear sisters in Islam, we must wake up before it is too late. We must start changing and make Islam our priority in life. We must love Allah more than anything else in this world. We must stay focused while all this deception is happening. We must remember the very reason for our existence. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the Quran, وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنَّ وَالْإِنسِ إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُونَ I have not created the jinn nor mankind only so that they may worship me, meaning Allah. My dear sisters in Islam, if you love diamonds and pearls, do not be deceived by these worldly treasures as the treasure in the hereafter is far greater. Look at the sign of death. As we speak, someone dies and they will have eternal lives. Will they live in the paradise enjoying its bliss or will they suffer in the hellfire? And my final quote to you is, will you choose what is best for you or will you lose yourself in this life and in the hereafter? Keep